I was born and given the name Kolan Pune. Now Kolan means to forgive. And Pune is my mother's surname. I was given my mother's surname because my mother and my father were not married. So it's the tradition that the child takes the mother's surname. I grew up in a township called Pune, which is in the south of Devon. It's a very beautiful country. And the section that I grew up in is called the D section. It's right across the T section, which is across the I think it's the biggest hostel in South Africa. The, these two sections are separated by train tracks. Growing up there was scary and fun. Scary because there, there used to be a lot of violence happening. But also fun because when people were not fighting, there were activities that were quite interesting and beneficial to us as kids. For an example, the King's Olitin Stadium is a stone throw away from where my home is. So there would be big games like pirates and treasure ships would be coming to play and people would flock in from all over the places. Now this was beneficial for us as kids because we would go there and be cutters. We would earn between 50 cents to one rent per person when they return to their car. We didn't worry a lot about watching the game because one of the other guys would have a radio who would listen to what is happening and we were used to it because in most of our homes there wasn't a television, there was a radio. So we were used to listening to matches, listening to stories, news, and all of what was happening around, around the world. Now, this, this was fun. When there were no games playing in Queen's Olympian Stadium, we would be playing soccer ourselves outside the stadium. Or we would be, staying, we would be playing street soccer. The other thing which also was fun for us as kids is that the swimming pool was not too far away. So we walked to the swimming pool and we would swim. Now, we would do all these things with the kids that I grew up with, but I would have sneaked out from my grandparents' home. <coughs> now, my grandparent, especially my grandmother, was a very interesting woman. She, she, she had a simple rule that you first do your home chores, then you can go and play as much as you like. And I would do my home chores. Then I'll report to her that I'm done. And she'll give me something else. <laughs> report to her and give me something else. <laughs> now this would go on, it could go right to the to the day's finish. So I realized that for me, in order to play with my friend, I would have to sneak out. So I'd do one or two chores and sneak out. And above the chores, there was a place across the road. She grew mealies, tomatoes, onions and all those vegetables. So there was always something to do. But, but I love growing in, in her home. So this would be my normal life until I finished primary. When I finished primary, I went and lived on, 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 on my grandparents' house on the, on the paternal side, on the third family. Now, it was different. From, from this section. This was now in P section. Now, when I stayed with my grandmother on my paternal side, she also had a simple rule. You could play as much as you like, but you have to stay within the boundaries of the house. So, I, I would do my own chores. They were pretty standard. There wasn't a lot, really. But I would spend a lot of time on my own. Now, I grew an ability to be by myself and to come past a walk and enjoy your own company from that experience, which I am still grateful for it, because I'm using it to my own advantage as I grow up. I, I, I really do enjoy my own company. <laughs> so, at high school level, I was living with my grandparents on my personal side, 
and I, I grew the love of making drawings. I was always making drawings. And I love, I learned that I could become an architect and I enjoyed drawing structures. So I never made it for the art, for the architecture class. But my second choice was civil engineering. So that's what I did when I went to Tesha. That is civil engineering. I also practiced. I worked for consultants in Devon, which were called Cybex. I later joined Transnet. I also practiced civil engineering and a department that was called infrastructure maintenance. I was in charge of planning, track maintenance. Then it got to a stage where I felt I needed more challenges. So I came to Dobek, still under Transnet, but doing something that was totally different. What I was doing was a mixture of industrial engineering and operations management. Now, what was fun about it, there were a lot of people who were my age. So there was a bit of competition, <laughs> but we were all learning. Now, I've managed to grow in the ranks to the current role that I met, which is the senior manager. And the highlight this year is that I was published on the, on the, on the company's newsletter for finishing Comrades Marathon. That was a great accomplishment. And running is my passion. So it was important to see that. Uh, running has a few benefits. It's, it's mental strength, physical strength, and health in general. And my goal is to use running as a tool so that uh, I can run for a cause. And the cause would be to, teach, to make people aware of the illiterate that is in the country and to be involved in, in projects that are fighting the, the, the Indian threaten. All in all, I'm a lot of things to different people. But what I find has been constant all along is that my experiences has been based on the choices that I, I have made. There have been a few where something happened, an accident, where I was passed. But 